Ho ho ho, it's Christmas. A holiday filled with love, joy, food, and more food. Staying healthy during the holidays isn't something impossible. I've teamed up with my dietitian friend Leonard to show you how to prepare a delicious yet healthy meal to impress your friends and family during this Christmas. Hi everyone, I'm Georgian from Georgian Cooking and I'm a dietitian. Hi, and this is Leonard who happens to also be a dietitian. Alright, so two dietitians today and what exactly we are doing here? Well, Christmas is coming, it's a season of jolly and it also is the season where people throw away their diet plan down the drains, they think yep. they're going to be unhealthy, they're going to indulge and they're going to gain a lot of weight. But that's not necessarily the case, is it? Yeah, that's not that case. So today what we're going to show you is basically some tips to healthy cooking and uh, to impress your guests at the same time to make sure that they are healthily fat. What are we going to be making today? So we are going to make a salmon dish today and the name of the dish is called walnut crust baked salmon and then it's going to make something else to go with it so what are you cooking today yeah exactly so with your salmon being really rich creamy and you know fatty fish right so we're gonna make a panzanella salad a roasted panzanella salad that's okay. gonna be tangy gonna be bright it's just gonna cut through everything all right so yeah. we are ready yep so are you ready all right so let's get started salmon is a great protein with healthy fats omega-3 that are good for the heart you can alternate salmon with cod fish too if you like. To start making the baked salmon, first, cut the salmon fish lengthwise into half. A 350 gram salmon fillet like this makes two servings. Next, fill the edge of the fish fillet with your fingers to look for any remaining bones and then remove it. So, so these are the pin bones, right? Yeah, so just keep searching for the bones because you would not like this to choke your guest. guest? Mm -hmm. Or your in-laws? <laughs> Or unless you intended to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Season the salmon with pinch of salt and pepper. Give it a good rub and then set aside. Uh, while we are waiting the salmon to be seasoned, so now we are going to proceed with the walnut crust. We are using plain walnuts. We toasted the walnuts on a non-stick pan over low heat for 3 to 5 minutes to give it a smoky taste. Be super cautious while you are toasting them as you don't want to burn the walnuts. Sorry, what's your question? You could use almonds. <laughs> You can use almonds, uh, almonds yeah. macadamias and other nuts for this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think so, but I have not tried them though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that's a good idea to try. Yeah, so certainly as compared to you know the typical bread crumbs, right, which is what most people use. Yeah. Um, this obviously adds more healthy fats. Healthy fats, exactly. True. From a, from a from a flavor component, it's obviously much more nutty. Yeah. Right. And in terms of fiber content, it's also higher as well. Isn't yeah, it? that's true. That's true. And it's Christmas season, and walnut is just in line with the tea. So what, what are you doing? You want to mince them up, right? Uh, no need. No need, we got a food processor and, yeah. I'm, and I'm just showing off my knife skills here. <laughs> Put the toasted walnuts, peeled garlics and one small stalk of rosemary into the food processor and then blend it until we achieve a coarse sand texture. Next, brush a thin layer of mustard on the salmon filet and then coat them with the walnut mixture evenly with a spoon or hand. Once it's done, Transfer it into a preheated oven and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or until the walnut crust has become golden brown. For Leonard Penzanella salad, we are using brinjal, green and yellow bell pepper, shiitake mushroom, cucumber, cherry tomatoes and homey bread. These are just a few vegetables that I procured. You could use... What else can you use? You know, you could use any other hard vegetables. Okay. Carrots would work perfectly fine. Yep, sounds good. Um, you know, my cameraman, could you bring me an onion for me, the red one? Let's do it. Ooh, so, you could, right. you could use um, okay. onions as well, which we are. Cut brinjal bell peppers into smaller chunks. Slice the onion and remove the stem of the shiitake mushroom. You can use oyster or butter mushroom too if you want. What's, what's dietitian this, actually? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> no, a dietitian is a clinician who is right. responsible for the different dietary needs of different populations. So for example, mm -hmm. people with diabetics and they need to be wary of their blood sugar level. So obviously yep, the right. person in charge of making sure they know how to take care of themselves are the dietitian, right? right. Uh, what else do a dietitian do? So other than working in a clinical setting, let's say in a hospital, we talk to patients about how to 
uh, manage their food in order to manage their medical condition. So we also work in, let's say, food service aspect yep. where yep. Uh, we can work at the food service in the hospital yep. to make sure that all the food served in the hospital is actually um, according to the needs of the patient in the hospital. Correct. And not only the hospital, isn't it? They, yeah. you, you could be in airlines as well. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So shameless plug for the dietitian career. Please pay us. Thank you very much. <laughs> And other than in food service, in the clinical setting, we can also go into the community. Let's say we can do health promotions, like what we are doing now, which is just teaching you how to cook a healthy meal at home. Yeah, exactly. So obviously in the community sector, it's more preventive. It's more how do you prevent diabetic, uh, getting yeah. diabetes, you know, minimizing your risk for cancer and things like yeah. that. Because it's always uh, better to prevent than cure, right? Other than salt and olive oil, we have also added one clove of minced garlic to it to spice it up. Obviously, from a from a flavor point of view, they add tremendous amount of flavor. But mm -hmm. from a health point of view, what what do they do actually? Yeah, basically, it just helps you to reduce the use of salt because mm -hmm. you know that eating too much salt it will increase your sodium intake, which in turn it will raise up your blood pressure, and in the long term is not good for your heart and kidney as well. Exactly, so um, not only when you cook with herbs and spices in yeah. your day-to-day -day cooking, not only do you not miss mm -hmm. salt, you in fact feel that it's not actually needed. Yeah, exactly. So you just need a little bit yep. just to elevate the flavours and that's it. So speaking True. of salt, we're going to add just a pinch of salt a to this. A pinch of salt. Okay. Right. So like this. Yep, exactly. So just okay. a little bit and we're going to add a bit more later at the end to just spice it up just a bit more. Okay. So I'm going to add about a couple teaspoons of just oil. We're not measuring, are we? Just like we're just gonna eyeball, just eyeball it. it. All right, yeah. so about two teaspoons there. Okay. And if I could get your hands a bit dirty, I'd like you to yeah. just stir it up a bit. Okay, so I'm the one that's doing all the dirty jobs here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to add tablespoons or cups of oil to this. Yeah. Just a drizzle. Mm -hmm. um, why? Why do we say add minimal fat, actually, Jordan? Yeah, because. Because fat is very dense in calorie, regardless if it's good fat or bad fat. So by having too much fat in your diet, it will lead to weight gain. And we know yep. that having excessive weight, what's the problem of having too much well, weight? Well, that puts you at risk of diabetes, obviously obesity, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. heart attacks and things like that. Yep. So we have just a little bit of olive oil here. Right. And we're just that's going to extract all the fat soluble flavors and just slightly lubricate it. So into the pan here it goes. Alright, here we go. And we're going to roast this off in the oven mm -hmm. for, for, how about, long? for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Until there's a nice charring going on. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, tear the homey bread with your hands into smaller pieces, which will be roasted together with the veggies at the last 5 minutes in the oven. At the same time, slice up some cucumbers, onion, and cut the cherry tomatoes into half. Having both raw and roasted veggies in the salad help to give a more contrasting flavours and sweetness too. For the salad dressing, mix one part of olive oil to three parts of apple cider vinegar. To elevate the flavours of the salad, we have added fresh dill too. You can use other fresh herbs like coriander, basil or spring onion too if you like. Once the roasted veggie is done, mix everything together and voila, the salad is ready to go. I like the colours. The colours so, are so festive. It's beautiful, it's bright. <laughs> And if you just take the bread right now, it's a bit of herbs. Do finish it. Well, we're not doing an ASMR video, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's really that nice. Okay, so how's your, oh, well, mm. how's your fish doing? The fish is done when the walnut crust has become golden brown. Take it out from the oven. Slide it onto the plate. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so and just to finish it off, we're going to have a bit of our panzanella. Alright. So let's portion it up as well. Okay. Ta-da! A beautiful walnut crust baked salmon with panzanella salad are done. So if you are ever making this at home, and please show us your end product in your social media. And remember to, to tag me, Georgian Cooking and Leonard the Dietitian. Alright, so see you on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, guys! Bye. Merry Feed me. Alright. Okay. So now it's the time to taste. Yup, we have the salmon here. Let's just have some salmon first. So my favorite part of the salmon is the belly. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Apa macam? Hello.